What struck me about the workshops were some of the comments of the students after the sessions. One in particular who said she was able for the first time to feel very comfortable in that kind of situation where she knew very few people but she was able to open herself up and discover things about herself and about how to build positive relationships um, in a very short space of time. So I see the workshops as being extremely valuable not only in their ability to stimulate us creatively but bring us to a different level of understanding um, about ourselves and about how we interact with each other. The reliance on technology can sometimes be a disadvantage for students' creativity. Um, instead of being led by an idea and allowing that idea to grow, they first think about how they can create the end result. So they're actually limited because they're thinking from the end result backwards rather than allowing an idea to have a life of its own. First I go to a party with some friends and then they all decide to leave and go hang out at some tree where everyone is and then when I get to that tree I see people smoking pot I get offered pot, I decline pot, I go home with a friend that also declined pot, and then I fall asleep. It was interesting how uh, uh, Murdo slowly came in, because that's really how it happened, you know? Uh -huh. At first he was with us, he was like, no, I'm not going to do it, and then slowly he gets pulled in, mm -hmm. and in the end he does end up smoking. Personally, as an educator, you're always faced with a group of young people who you have to stimulate and bring out um, as much as you can. And for me to be involved on the other, on the receiving end of a workshop was extremely enriching because it was a, it was a delight to be in the hands of two such capable people and to be able to feel so relaxed and comfortable with my own creativity and also to explore it, which is something I very rarely get to do in a classroom setting. And through just playing with something as simple as a piece of paper and allowing the piece of paper to tell them how it might move, how it might sound, how it might interact with uh, another piece of paper, another character, another body in the space, they can see that anyone at any time is capable of making new stories.